welcome to the Logic Minute. In this installment, I'm going to demonstrate how we can quantize MIDI uh, through the inspector of the arrange window. And so uh, first things first, I've recorded a brief MIDI region here that is played poorly, not fully in time with uh, the beat here. So I've got our metronome on so we can hear the difference. I'm gonna play it back uh, for comparison's sake. So let's hear what it sounds like now. So it's not quite on the beat. You can hear there's a number of places where it speeds up or slows down. And we can correct that by grabbing a region. And if we go over to the inspector here, you see we have a quantize function. And this is on a per region basis. So each region will have this setting independently, which is very useful for uh, doing different strengths of quantization on different regions for instance so let's open up this menu and you'll see that it's organized by uh, the note value that you want to quantize to so if I wanted to quantize to 16th notes I would do that here uh, 24th would be 6 sixteenths per beat rather than 4 so I, it just goes in that order there so you, 12 would be uh, eighth note triplets, for instance, and we can also use a number of swing values. So if you need your MIDI region to swing a little bit, we've got that. You've got quintuplets for uh, eights and quarters here, uh, some more advanced tuplets, seven and nine. And finally, we have uh, combinations up here. So we have 16 and 12, so that's quantizing to 16th notes and and 16th note triplets I'm sorry and 8th note triplets we've got 16 and 24 which quantizes 16th notes and 16th note triplets and so let, let's select this guy here and let's try it back that sounds like exactly what I was trying to play let's try some other settings let's try it with the 16th note triplets see what that sounds like So that last note wasn't quite right. It quantized it to a 16th note triplet where it should have been an 8th note triplet. So this probably was the best setting here. And let's turn it off again just to see what it sounded like before. Horrible. But that's why we have this feature. And uh, we you can also get more advanced and choose how strongly you want to be uh, quantizing your regions, but uh, that's beyond the scope of this short tutorial. So that's basically how you quantize MIDI regions in Logic Pro 8. If you want to master Logic Studio fast, drop what you're doing now and head to logicstudiotraining.com.